Good morning. It is day 52, and yesterday I talked a little bit about gratitude for those who've given their life in service, but today I want to talk about gratitude from a different perspective. Um, if you find yourself complaining a lot, I would suggest trying gratitude. I've got a situation right now with someone who is just constantly complaining. They, it's very difficult for them to find anything good to say in any direction. And it's been extremely frustrating to those closest to the person. And while it's been going on, we've been sort of brainstorming at times, trying to figure out how to help this person. And yesterday morning, after I had done my video for the day, I was thinking about that process of gratitude and thought if I could give this person one instruction and actually get them to listen to it, it would be that when you're about to complain, take a couple minutes, take five minutes, and just start speaking the things you're grateful for. Because if you ask this person, and a lot of people complain a lot, what are they thankful for? What are they grateful for? Who are the people they're grateful for? Um, it takes a little bit of work, but they can get to a point where they can articulate that. And the reality is there are people in all of our lives that we are grateful for, but if we're not real careful, we never tell them that we're grateful for them. So in addition to just taking that, take five minutes. Literally, if you find yourself in a bad mood or you're about to say something you shouldn't say, just zip it. And for five minutes, I am grateful for. And it can be the people in your life. It can be the fact that you're your brain functions the way it's supposed to, or that you had a good workout for the day. Or for me this morning, one of the things I'm feeling thankful for is I got to spend a good part of yesterday, yesterday with my three sisters, which we don't get to do really often because everybody works and everybody's always going and going and going. And it was just a joy to me to be able to spend that time with them. Um, a couple of my brothers-in-law were here, a niece, a nephew, another nephew, and it was just a joyful day. And find my suggestion this morning is to find something that you can be grateful for, something, someone, find something, because you can't stay in a bad mood and be grateful at the same time. They can't coexist. So the next time you're not feeling so hot, what are you grateful for? And it will change your mood. It is day 52, I think, and I'm signing off and I'll see you tomorrow.